Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys. So I apologize for uploading this video very late, but better late than never. So let's have a look at the Faction Wars reward for this week. So let's look at the, well, let me just get my friends award first. It's always good to have friends that will earn you some alliance points. Can never say no to that. So again, let's look at the Faction membership reward first. Uh, I didn't play as many matches this week, which is really quite sad. Um, this week um, now, I haven't really been playing much either, so I haven't really got too too high on the leaderboard, which is quite a shame because I was aiming to get again another um, rare sort of equipment card, but I don't think I, I reached that far ahead. But let's see what I've got today. But I get the increased uh, basic damage from 23 24%, so this brings this what is it, brawler gloves, which is an accessory to level 9 on that one. I get medallion which I already own at fusion 10 so that can only be sold which is cool. I also get robe which brings the max health from 12 to 13 percent so this is level what is that one? 8 now nice. Got the healing herbs again already have that fully fused up and amulet I get that one which increased resistance from 27 28 percent again another accessory item so that brings this one to fusion number eight for me continue and combat shotgun I believe this might be the last one so this increased damage from 33 to 35 percent I believe this is only on specific uh, combat shotgun I think this is martial arts characters or spec ops um, but look 30 percent damage boost against enemies stunned or slowed on look at fusion level 10 which I believe it is now that time nice beautiful fusion 10 on the combat shotgun oh lovely got dragon essence as well increased power generation from 10 to 11 percent so definitely gonna keep that card on Melina or Liu Kang definitely good or even Katana they're really good power generation characters Bloodstone ring, nice. Increased resistance from 40 to 42%. That one is on fusion number six now. Nice. And I get 30,000 coins as well as a 40 souls. Nice. So let's head over to the store um, and let's do my pack openings as well because. If you look at my character selection, I need to evolve up my Scorpion. So let's scroll over to Scorpion, the Injustice Scorpion that is. Cost 150,000. I already have him on Fusion at number 6, so this brings him to maximum Fusion number 7, level 50 as well. Look at those stats, amazing. Oh, I'm really happy about that. 22 on his strength and 40 on his health. Amazing. I'll probably look at getting his equipment cards as well just so I can rank them up as well. Uh, let's head over to the card pack. So he's fully maxed. So I've got 115,000 left. But let's do some uh, combat packs because every now and again you need to do the combat packs and see what characters we can get in this. Uh, so let's see. 150,000. So 150,000. 150 souls for a combat pack. And first off, I get a level up card. I always say, guys, make sure you save these on your characters. They're really good to fuse up your characters or level up your characters once they get to the, the higher stages. I generally do it when I get to about 40, maybe to 45, just so I'm not doing as much um, battling. So it works well in, the, in that sense. I'll get a noob Sabot, uh, Sabot, which is a Sub-Zero power generation card, which is cool, or energy generation, so should I say. And I get uh, the Shaolin Kung Jin. So this brings my Kung Jin to fusion number two, which is nice. A nice martial arts character that, that can work alongside with Scorpion and Sub-Zero and the, and the rest of them, which is cool. And let's do one more of these combat pack openings and see what we get, guys. So pack number one, so card number one, should I say. I get the Monk, so increase the bonus uh, health for Monk from 3 to 6%, which is cool. Still going to say I, I love the animation on the Fusion when, once, once they do that. It's amazing. Second one, I get Healing Herbs. Already have that, so that one just gets sold. 
And third, oh lovely, Noxious Reptile. I love this guy. He attacks, his attack is so quick. It's quite like Liu Kang's, a very quick and, and fast attacking character. So definitely happy that I've got that card. So let's fuse that character right there. Beautiful. And continue. And I'm going to end it with an equipment pack because it's good to see which kind of equipments you can get in these packs. Uh, 70,000 for one of these. I already have the epic Raph Hammer, so that's not a problem. But let's see what else we can get in this pack today. Leaving me with just 46,000. So I get the military vest, which is uh, Sonya Blades. So let's increase the maximum health from 15 to 17%. When using it with Sonya, uh, you increase the heal from 10 to 11%. I believe that's on the final move. So that's cool. Military vest on that one. Lovely. Continue. Next, we get the Outworld Gear, which is an armor card. This increased max health again from 17 to 18%. So this brings it to fusion number eight on this one for me. Nice. And last but not least, we get the Amulet, which brings my Amulet up to, well, increased resistance from 28 to 29%. So that brings it to fusion number nine. So I'm really happy about that, guys. So as I said, like, comment, share, subscribe, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.